Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a general sitemap inside of Figma. And this is a Fig Jam board, so all you'd have to do is log into your Figma account, create a new Fig Jam board file, and then you can create a nice looking sitemap like this one. This is a really simple sitemap, but it works for most uh, cases because a sitemap is just a visual representation of the hierarchy of the web page. So I'm going to show you how you can create something like this in Figma, and it's pretty easy to do. Figma's made it really easy. So I'm just going to drag in that first purple square here, the home page. Then I can zoom in, and I have my home page. And I'm going to start building out these sub pages. So to do that, I'm just going to go take a drop down arrow like this, and then I can start naming my pages. So I'm going to name this one About. And then we'll create another page here for Contact and then another page for schedule online. So you can create as many pages as you want. And all I'm doing to do this is just hover over this uh, first home page and then this drop down. And let's do legal here. And let's do one more. Let's just do a blog page. Okay, so now that I have this sitemap here, I can change the color of these all at the same time. So I'm just gonna highlight them. And then over here on this little red circle, I'm gonna change them to the light blue like we see here on this sitemap. And I'm gonna go another level down. So on the About page, we're gonna make a Meet the Team page. And we'll do also a Careers page. Now, if you like the spacing it gives you by default on these sub pages, that's fine. Um, I want to space them a little different, so I'm gonna show you how you can do that. All you have to do is just click and hold on to this element. And as you can see, it's going to follow those little arrows are going to follow that element wherever I drag it. So if I want it spaced there, then I can get it to line up so that those are evenly spaced. And then if I wanted to add another page here, let's say services page. So let's zoom in here for the services page. And you can see that this kind of messed up my alignment. So there's an easy way I can align these elements all at the same time. So I'm just going to highlight all of them and then click and drag until I get them in the center. And then I would do the same thing here to get these lined up again in the center of my, uh, my secondary page. And then you just keep building out these different pages. So if you have on the services, you have service one, you would keep building these out. And this is a really good exercise to do. It helps you know what all the pages are where they live and where they're nested for your website. And I like doing this in FigJam board because it's so simple and easy and kind of fun actually to create these. And so then I would just change the color of these as well. You can change other things. You can change the text size. You can change the font. Uh, you get some formatting options as well. Um, so there are a few things you can change. Most of the time I just leave it as the default unless I need to change it for some particular reason. There's also some things you can add in down here. You can add in stickers and you could add images and you can also add text. Like if you wanted to put your client's name right here above it, you could do that. And then you could make that text bigger and center it on your, let's go with just large. We'll center this here. So there's other things you can do to edit this sitemap. And then this sitemap here, as you can see, I wrapped it in a section. So you can do that as well. You just highlight all the elements and then you can right click and you can uh, group so, or you can wrap a new section here. And uh, if we click this, it's gonna put it as a whole section now so I can grab all of them at one time. And then I can rename my section here to general sitemap. So that's how you can create a sitemap inside of Figma using the Fig Jam board. It makes it really simple. And there's other things we didn't cover here, like you can change the shape of these elements. Um, you see some down here, like the triangles, but there's lots of different shapes that you can use. And um, it makes it really easy to create a nice sitemap. Then what I would do is just name this as sitemap. And then, um, you can also have additional pages if you want to have multiple pages. Usually I don't need that, but I'm going to go to show you how you can export this. So you would just go to File, 
and then you would go to export as and you can pick how you want to export it so if you want to export it as a jpeg png pdf the quality and the background um, i usually do the grid and we can see what this would look like on a jpeg so i'm going to go ahead and export this and you can see what that would look like here so here's the exported sitemap i think it looks really good um, and of course you could do more sections if you wanted to you could do less sections you don't even have to wrap your your uh, shapes in a section uh, but i like to wrap them in a section i think it just kind of puts it all together especially if there are subsections or different things like that so I hope you found this video helpful like i said i love this tool for creating sitemaps um, and it just makes it so fast and easy and uh, which is what you want when you're trying to just lay something out visually and, and trying to find the right right layout for things all right well that's what i have for today's video and i will see you in the next video